Okay, so let's come back to uh, Heracles. Um, so you were escorting Dinsley back to the place. Um, he brings you down the docks, and I mean, it's nighttime. There are a few guards and stuff around, but I don't think word has spread yet of utter mayhem going on. Um, I mean, you look a bit beat up, uh, but I think you manage, uh, now I may have talked myself into a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, let's talk about that, Heracles. You, you definitely look bloodied, um, and you're dragging Densley along, who looks like he's freaking out and is utterly afraid of you. Um... And there are guards, right? I mean, it's not like there are checkpoints and they're, like, frisking people and stuff, but there are guards around, right? There's people around. Um, it's not super busy, but that might actually make you stand out more. Um, there are a few lamps, right? Like uh, coal lamps or oil lamps of some kind. They're, they're sparse. I mean, it's not brightly lit on the dock. Um, uh, but Denzeli's, uh place of business... Right, his his warehouse area. Um, it's it's down toward the end of the docks, kind of in an older section, um, where he can kind of stay out of sight. But you've got to move through sight the first place. But do you try to avoid notice, or how do you try to avoid notice? So, are there like buildings and stuff, or is this like docks and water underneath, or? Uh, yeah, so there, there's a pretty big dock, like a sort of a boardwalk thing. Um, and then, of course, all the places where the ships uh, land. Um, and, uh, I mean, there are houses along that face, like, the dock and out at the, uh, out at the water. Um, and then also a few, once you get out toward the edges, um, there are shops and houses and things, you know. And a few taverns, probably. Um, Dockside taverns. Um, you have to get up the way a little bit before there are all of the warehouses and um, boat yards and stuff, um, where private private places where people can sail their ships into, right? If they have a, a private uh, boathouse, I think that's what you call that. Whatever it is, big fucking building. What where your boat can be put inside because you don't want scumbags doing stuff to your boats anyway cool i think as we're getting there right and i see like the guards i set densely down the copper roof or place and he yeah he nods i'll meet you there i think he sees me like i run off and i i'm like jumping on like rooftops like running across them jumping across them like a fucking maniac <laughs> American warrior style, jumping into like the water, swimming through under the docks, and, like moving as fast as I can, like through this, like a goddamn American warrior ninja style. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, defy danger dexterity. Um, cool. And uh, am I defying danger caused by movement? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty obviously. Yeah, it's almost like you set it up so that that would be the case. Oh, he's just hoping for that. He's just hoping for that 12 plus where the guards see him, but their heads explode because he's so cool. Um, um, you make it. You're 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 stealthy enough, right? You're 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 um, a ninja uh, barbarian. Uh, or whatever. You can climb, run, jump, hide, all that stuff. Denzeli is uh, a rotund scumbag um, who deals in illegal gators. So he has a hard time following you. And he's he moves slow. And you know he makes some noise. You don't get caught out right away. Um, but if anybody was watching, right, there, you, you, you attracted a little bit of attention. Um, yeah, you, you may well be on a clock. I think you know that. Cool. 
Um, but yeah, you make it to the warehouse and you you get inside. He takes you through a door, right? And there are a few guys standing there and they stand up and they see him and they see you um, and you're all covered in blood and weapons uh, and like a couple of them draw weapons and stuff. Um, and he says, no, no, no time for that. Everybody calm down. Get get everything ready. Uh, stow, stow everything. Um, and he just starts like barking orders and they start to act like they want, you know, explanations and they start asking about like, where's such and such or where, where's the, where's the boys? Um, and he says, no time, damn it. Um, and he like backhands one of them. Get to work. We've got, we don't have a lot of time. Um, and they go running off and start like, you know, getting stuff ready. You see, he's got a couple of boats in here. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think he's got two ships. And they start to, uh, get the ships ready. Um, yeah, what are you doing here, please? He sort of, like, slumps in a chair. And he's sweating and stuff. And he's sort of, he's wet from diving and swimming or whatever. <laughs> um, and, uh, grabs a bottle that's sitting there on the table, right? Um, and has a glass and just, like, fucking throws the glass down and just starts drinking out of the bottle. Um, I, I look out the window, right? Peering, seeing, like, um, like, what's still going on in the docks. Um, if anyone followed us, if they're now, like, if people are flooding the streets looking for for me or Denzel Lee. Okay. Um, and I give, like, a little whistle to, to Barry and to, like, keep an eye out to, like, sniff around a bit, see what he... Sure. He notices as well. Uh, discern realities. Cool. There's a plus one since I add Barry's cunning to this. Sounds good. Is that the 10? 10. All right, ask your questions. Cool. So what... What is about to happen? Um... Okay. Well, no, I'm going to save that question. Uh, yeah, you see a couple of guards gather under a light. Um, they're, they're far away, but you can see their shapes. Um, sort of two dark guard-shaped shadows. Um, uh, I don't know, they got, you know, pikes. Uh, <laughs> pikes and goofy looking helmets um, and yeah you see them like gathered and it looks like they're talking and you're not sure at first like what they're talking about or, or looking at them, like they're pointing one way and one of them says like holds up his hand and waves it and points straight down um, basically at the the the, the uh, warehouse you're in right and the one like nods um, and uh, yeah they sort of turn and they start lazily making their way toward that uh, toward you um, they're pretty far away so I mean you've got probably and they're not like hauling ass they're not like oh god let's go kill that naked guy we saw yeah kill all the naked men um, but they are lazily making their way over you've got a few minutes Um, what here is useful or valuable to me? Um, Dinsley, if you could 
get him to get his shit together. Um, he knows these guys, right? He's an operator. Uh, he knows how to deal with the dock guards, probably, right? Um, yeah, he's the one you need. If you open the door, right, you're a naked barbarian man um, with covered in items of immense arcane power that you've gathered for your, through your adventures. <laughs> and you're going to look suspicious as hell. Um, it's profiling. You're, you're right. <laughs> uh, but Denzily, he's a known quantity. I mean, he's soggy, and he looks like he's been running and been in sort of a scuffle, right? Um, but... He's useful or valuable to getting them to back off if you can make him presentable and or get him calmed down. Wait, why is he soggy? <laughs> they went swimming at one point during the American Ninja Warrior. Okay. Did they, I mean, did he eat 30 minutes before? Like, come on. Actually, yeah. Remember, he was at dinner. You guys interrupted his yeah. dinner. Yeah, rookie mistake. Cramps. <laughs> and he was smoking a pipe. He's a smoker. So, I mean, you know. He's got the cramps. He's having a hard time breathing. There's no filter on that pipe. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess, like, the last thing, kind of looking at his boat real quick. As I like make my way towards him, uh, what here is not what it appears to be. Um, Say, Chuck, you're, you're coming up the docks, right? Yeah. Um, are you moving through the shadows with Louis? Yeah. Okay. I, I've been desperately trying to find a way to bring Chuck into the scene also. Um, <laughs> as you see these guys moving, you also see uh, the unmistakable shadowy shape of uh, an orc, a swamp orc, and his 15-foot alligator. Um... <laughs> They're in the shadows. Uh, they're they're trying to move quietly too. Uh, the guards are ahead of them and they're coming up behind. But they're, I mean, there's Chuck and he appears to be on your trail, right? And maybe you've talked with Chuck enough to know that he is sort of a tracker and stuff, and he's probably coming toward you also, um, trying to avoid the guards. <clears throat> I don't know about that last part. We'll see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what it doesn't appear to be. Chuck is being stealthy to avoid guards, not being stealthy in order to murder them suddenly before they realize what's happened. <laughs> but uh, that's another factor going on. So, so yeah, Heracles, you're kind of... You're kind of in, in between a lot of things that could go very fucking wrong very fucking suddenly. between a Chuck and a hard place. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I think... Yeah. If Chuck comes in, I'll, I'll deal with him and, and that mess later. But I, I go first to Denzeli. I sit down. We can take the bottle and I pull it towards me. Um, and I have, like, Barion right there. I need you... I need you right now to focus. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. I need you right now. Harder. Faster. Wild. Um, different. Different barbarian tribal. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I need you to. I need you to focus right now. I've got some guards on the dock. They're coming up. Okay. Would you have your head straight? <sighs> Whatever is bad company coming our way. Look at me. And look at my friend here. 
and tell me if they should be more afraid. Okay. I hand him back the bottle. <laughs> uh, yeah, defy danger with your charisma. I mean, he's terrified of you right now. Right. Is it a parlay at all, or no? Um, yeah, we can call it a parlay. Yeah, there might be something you can do if you roll a nine to, like... Yeah. Cool. Do I get a plus one from my discern realities? Yes. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And since I have Barian there and I'm parlaying, it's also a plus one from his cutting. Oh, yeah. So I actually yes. have a plus two. Finally. Yeah, Bar Barion is as he was he was like helping you for a little while, uh, but he goes back and he's uh and he packs a bowl of pipe leaf, right? Um, <laughs> because those bright wolves love pipe leaf, right? Um, yeah, we we established that bright wolves are stoners. Yeah, and he, he's he's smoking up with him. Um, so go ahead. You got a plus two. There you go. Yeah. Didn't even need that plus two. Um, yeah, he says. Uh, he takes the pipe, right? And he, like, takes a couple of big puffs. And. Um, um, no, he does it hardcore style, right? He, he, he takes a couple of big puffs, holds them, takes the drink, right? Uh, drains the bottle, and then lets out the smoke. He says, um, I'll take care of this. Uh, and he, he gets up and, like, whips off his wet shirt um, and coat and takes off his wet trousers and everything. And uh, goes to a little side closet, right, and grabs out a big robe and puts on his big, like, smoking jacket um, and throws it on and wraps it around. <laughs> Um, grabs a comb, uh, looks into a little side mirror and like slicks his hair backward. Um, and then he thinks about it. Uh, and he says, no, and then he like flicks his hair back up, um, and throws the comb in there. And he says, um, make yourself scarce. Yeah, I hop on the boat real quick and like help these guys load up. Yeah. And the, the guards are on their way, so we come back over to Chuck's view as you're slinking through the shadows. Um, oh, boy. And uh, the, the guards are about to the door when, uh, when Dinsley whips it open um, with his pipe in his hand, and he comes walking out. And he's put this smoking jacket on right, and he's wearing it sort of like a robe. Um, but he did not tie it super well. Uh, so it's sort of open, right? And, uh, he comes wandering out, and he, uh, and he says, Evening, constables! And, like, takes some, lights up his pipe, uh, and they sort of stop and kind of, like, avert their gaze. Um, and they say, um, uh, yes, Dinsley, uh, uh, how are you? Wonderful, wonderful, and you. They say, look, we, we saw, like, we saw some, you with a person? Um, you, you looked, uh, worried? And he says, worried, no, 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 worried, no. Hurried, yes. And you saw me with a strapping young man. Um, and he says, um, a lovely boy. Now, unless you gentlemen want to join... Um, I'm just coming out to get some air. Um, and, uh, they say, um, oh, uh, no. Um, well, we thought you might, I don't know what we thought. He says, well, get your minds in the gutters, boys. That's what we do around here. Um, and he takes another couple of big puffs. Um, and like, he, he's like got his legs spread and he's like leaning back. Um, and they, they're sort of like, oh, yes, uh, carry, carry, carry on. He says, I will, I will. And, uh, they go walking away, Chuck. Um. 
Oh man. Uh. Uh. So like, I guess as he's like closing the door or whatever. Yeah. I want to like real quickly like. Chuck out of the shadows. Yeah. Uh, and like, get my foot in the door right before he closes, and just be like, "Hey, you want to cook it?" <laughs> uh, and then of course just like shoulder my way inside not caring if he actually wants to cook you or not okay yeah you you like barge your way in and do you are Does just, he... i mean he stumbles back he's shocked all of a sudden like his he had his he, he was in his zone right and he talked the guards away um and then you're there and he's like oh my god uh and you're like your face is all scratched and shit, right? Um, what's what's your like HP at, Chuck? Eight. Yeah, nine. Yeah. You it's look, a nine. You look good and messed up, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. And Heracles from the boat. I mean, you probably have a vantage point at least at the door, right? Um, he uh, he says, "Good gods!" And you just elbow your way in and come in. <clears throat> yeah. He's like, eh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know, and I, uh, he, he is ch- chocolate chip. You look like you use a chocolate chip kind of guy, and that's good because it's the only kind of cookie I really make over here. Yeah, uh, and I'll Lou- Louis, him like six month old chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Louis steps in behind. Um, <laughs> Louis steps in behind, and you hear him say, like, uh, uh, I hear they're pretty fuck good. And his <laughs> tail like slaps the door closed, um, and the guards stop when they thought they heard something. They heard a man scream, "Good gods!" And they just like they turn away and keep walking. Um, he climaxed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, yeah. So there's Chuck and Louie throwing chocolate chip cookies now at Denzeli, um, who's completely lost his composure again. Right? He thinks you're here to kill him. And he looks back at the ship, Heracles, and he's like, Help, 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 help! Oh, man. And there's that there's an empty bottle on the table, right? Yeah. I totally walk over and take a swig out of it. Okay. Like, God damn, why, why ain't y'all ever saving no rum for Chuck? Uh, what, are, what are you doing, Heracles? Um, deciding if I want to go into the water and burst from below the dock, <laughs> or if I just want to leap from the <laughs> ship. I mean, you're you're <laughs> please burst from the water. <laughs> please do it. I think as soon as I hear him say like, "Help, help, help," I like had a. I was keeping an eye every time. Maybe that's when I didn't see Chuck slip in. And I hear the help, and I look over, and I drop the box. Oh, and shit. Me and Barian, a little bright wolf, and we just leap from, like, the fucking ship. Yeah. Fucking death, like, dog tooth spear in hand. The the sword of the nightmares in the other. And we're right behind, densely. Ready, ready to make us some good old-fashioned Cajun barbecue. Yeah, and uh, Dinsley's crawling back like behind you. Um, and what are you what are you doing, Chuck? What do you do when Heracles appears with his pet? Uh. And Baryon's like, "Yeah, I'll take care of these sons of bitches." Don't you get any ideas, Gator? And he's like, "Fuck this motherfucker! He's not giving me one cookie. Y'all kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all kill him. You give me the cookies. I'm on your side. How's that?" Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess, like, when Heracles jumps down, I don't know. Like, so, like, why, why'd you done run off, leave me with that, with that, the, the, the hairy ass? Golden fellow and all, all them, all them gods and shit. Fucking ain't right, ain't right. You, you done just left us there with, and what? What you ran off with this one and, and y'all getting 
Y'all getting high in the in, in the boathouse, huh? <laughs> Leaving old Charlie do all the work, uh, and like I guess I'm doing like crossbow maintenance or something. Like I'm not even looking at him, just talking at him. <laughs> there was a plan, Chuck. We're going to come on the boat. We're going to work for him. And obviously, you and Gorlin had other ideas. Well, hey, hey, hey. Nah. Ain't, ain't my fault that that hairy sumbitch with the fleas, he got, he got, he got real bad fleas. Ain't my fault he's all scary and making them threats and shit. I ain't, I ain't want to fight a bunch of fuckers. When I first saw you, you said it was those other men that went and killed everyone. Yeah, it was. What worked. I saw there, it looks like you are both the kind of people that go murdering townsfolk. Oh, yeah, and, and, and like, what's that right there? And I point at the spear, like, what that? What's that for? Yeah, you, you, ain't, you, ain't, no, you ain't no innocent run, run around in the swamp like, ooh, I'm Heracles and I don't hurt nobody. Oh, you're right. I, I don't hunt the normal average farmer. I fight... Yeah gods and necromancers the undead yeah so like when when we's in that that building with with it with this one and i point at at what's it densely and, and and they whip out all them knives and shit yeah we's gonna kill them because they's gonna kill us that's how it works that's that's the swamp justice <laughs> now run around run around killing peasants and shit i i ain't about that that's dumb like like even if you's evil as shit why why you run around Pissing off all the townsfolk, like that's that's not how you go about that shit. Doesn't make sense. That these were men with knives. They stabbed me many times, and I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like bleeding. Louis <laughs> like I'm not fucking fine. <laughs> <laughs> Say that one. I know that can't <laughs> Yeah, you, you look you you look like a finely chopped shit and I'll like high five Louie. <laughs> Tail. <laughs> Toss him a cup. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, sugar. Them, them them sugar cookies. That's a you sugar cookies, that's a waste of flour. You could have put some flavor. <laughs> it's fine. I can't trust you anymore, truck. I don't know no, what no, angle you're like, when, when Weez was in that there fight, and they, they attacking us all and shit, you the one who run off. Um, you know what? I think I think Dinsley does get his shit together at this point. You two are like starting to square off, right? This is this is two murder dudes being like, I'm, no, I'm not hurt, I'm fine, and I can't trust you. And he's like, no, you, you think you're bad, I'm bad. And it's like, he's like, hold on, boys, hold on, hold on. Now... Look, you two can go to killing each other, and those guards are just going to come back, and we're all going to be screwed. Okay? So that's one option, and it's a bad one. And he says, now, I think you're right, Heracles. We can't trust that one. I can't trust you. I can't leave you here. I can't even trust you to pick up your evidence before you leave it on a table. And we're all implicated. It doesn't matter what you've actually done, gentlemen. That's not how laws work. All right? It matters what they can prove you've done, and they do that with evidence. You're all guilty. You're all murderers and smugglers now. <clears throat> but we can't leave you behind to turn on us, tell them where we've gone, get tortured. So the second option, as I see it, is you need us too. You need to get out. You still owe me. Charlie. <coughs> yeah? Yeah. So like, 
you still think that like the the arrangement that we had when you tried to kill us it we still got that deal going on even though like you I heard you when you, you screaming like like a stuck goblin when I came through that door and I gave you a cookie you were scared for your life I saw that you had me cornered and separated from my men and I wasn't trying to kill you I was threatening to kill you um, but now we're in my house um, and I'm still threatening that um, and yeah on the boat you hear click 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 and there's like 10 dudes on the, on the boat with guns pointed at you <laughs> and he, he says um, so don't go trying to take the high ground again get down on the low ground with me it's warm yeah, you know, the low ground, it's also in the swamp, so it's all full of water and gators and shit. Uh, and that's where me and Louis from, is the swamp. I, I'm not sure. Does that mean you're immune to bullets? Well, like, you had them, them <laughs> men in, in the, the duck place with the, the nice walls and shit. Where are they at now? I don't know. You killed them. Yeah, so like... What I'm saying is, like, you tried to double-cross me, but now we's all in the same boat, and I don't know why any of us, and I, like, gesture around the room, is still trying to double-cross us all. Because, like, let's be real here. Like, we in a boat, and it's sinking, and we all got buckets, but you like, oh, I'm not going to bail unless you bail, too. And it's like, no, we all got bail, and we fucked. Well, that's what I'm trying to say, Chuck. And first of all, you can't double-cross someone who shows up to extort you, okay? You don't understand what the term double-cross means. We didn't have a well, deal like, in the first place to cross double on. Yeah, you like, showed up threatening. Showing that you had, you had, like, leaky security, and that we could obviously plug that hole, and you was like, oh no, they're trying to extort me, better kill them. You, you ain't thinking right, Denzel Lee. You ain't thinking right. It's, it's that flea-bitten, hairy one. He's, he's all scary and making them threats and shit. Doesn't change things. You can come with us. But you owe us. I'm not paying you anything. I, uh, what? He says, look, we're, we're, we're headed out. Yeah, so like, basically like what you're saying is like the deal's been the same the whole time is like the first one that I said when I was like, you can hire us to be on the boat to keep you from dying. It's the higher part. You're going to protect me. And you're going to keep me alive. You're going to help him keep me alive. And we're all going to do that together. But when it's done, you're cut loose. There's no split. There's no honor among thieves. You're out. Yeah, okay. Um, I want to hawk up like a huge loogie. And spit it on my hand like huge and just like stick it out to shake with him. Okay. <laughs> he comes walking over. Uh, when we shake, I want to trump him and pull him in, you know, pull him in real close and be like, I got more dim, more dim little gas pellets too, so like, watching you. <laughs> he says, all right, all right. We're going to lock that up, though. And he pointing at Louie. Ain't going to lock Louie up. He says, you're not going to be on the boat armed to the teeth. I mean, I don't have a cage to fit him. It'll be a cargo area, but we're going to lock it. I have plenty of room. That's the way it is, Chuck. Don't tell me you spit for nothing. <clears throat> Yeah, but you, you ain't spit. Spat. <laughs> he holds his hand back out. Yeah, um, I'll shake his hand uh, and be like, y'all getting cookies tonight, and I'm just going to start frisbeeing cookies at his whole crew. <laughs> okay, and he walks back. Um, and he comes back over to your Heracles. Um... 
And, uh, this is okay. Ten minutes. Um, and he just, like, gets on the boat and he starts yelling, like, Back to work, please! Um, but there's totally, like, two or three guys just standing around on the boat with rifles. They're just watching you, Chuck. Um, but the rest of them, they are, like, getting shit ready. Um, okay. I don't know what's... Are you guys going to do anything else at the boathouse? Are you trying to get anything? I mean, you've only got a few minutes. They're, like, almost ready to go. They're just packing up what they absolutely need, and they're getting gone, right? I'm just start palling around with my with the, my armed guards. <laughs> just be, like, talking to them about the the goblin pole boys. I'm going to make you boys some, some fine-ass goblin pole boys with the... Uh... Some some shallot sauce, or the, we we gonna grill up them shallots. And make a sauce with that, and it's gonna be real good. Goblins poisonous. Um. <laughs> what about you, Heracles? Are you making any preparations <laughs> of any kind in the next like ten fifteen minutes? No, no, I'm just kidding getting on the boat helping uh, I, matter of fact I, I'm helping them load get us out of here faster okay um Gorlin yeah so what are you doing you, you took care of that night mm-hmm he dropped something of a bomb on you, I guess. Yeah. Big. Uh, basically, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna grab his cloak. I'm gonna grab his knife. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and get to the boat in time. Okay. Uh, okay. With his knife and sword, if I can carry them. Um, and his cloak. He doesn't have a uh, knife, but he does have a uh, a long sword. Mm. Um, yes. It's gonna make what I have in mind a bit difficult, but it's fine. Um, uh, I mean, the hunters would have had knives, but that would involve you, like, wandering back in the city. Their, their bodies are probably already been picked up, but... Yeah, I'm gonna try to use his cloak to hide myself a little bit more, and I'm mm -hmm. gonna try to get to the boat as fast as I can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. And his horse is there now that you can grab the horse. That's definitely something that'll help oh. you get there quick. Okay. Yeah. So I, I jump on the horse and mistreat it enough that we get there in time. <laughs> um. Well, he would have dropped his lance back. At the yeah, never mind. Um, but yeah, he's definitely got a long sword with those those tags there. I mean, except it doesn't cost you any money. Um, yeah, and, um, yeah. No, I think I think this this is kind of a big thing to to Gorlin. Now, uh, yeah. now, Gorlin, your gear is probably still where Chuck stashed it. Yeah, but I have no knife. Yeah, I have a hammer. Okay. Basically, yeah. Okay, I'm going to describe it. Okay. Okay, so did I get to the boat? Where I'm getting close to the boat? Well, I just want to know what your intent is first. We're going to roll something to see how you get there. Uh, I think Gorlin is going to commit seppuku. What? In the middle of the boat. Yeah. You're gonna I think... kill yourself? Yep, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah, I think I think like because it's kind of essential to to Gorling to like to, to be part of the city. So maybe he's not gonna kill himself but at least start the scene to see if he can be 
convinced out of it or somebody can put sense on him for God's sake. Okay. But I think this is kind of shocked that he is not a, a color dancer. Okay. He came back from the dead to be one. I mean, there would probably be a knife laying around in there, so it's, I mean, getting a hold of a knife is not the hardest thing in the world. But let's have you defy danger dexterity to get there quickly and unnoticed. Yeah. Okay, so you go hauling ass through town um, with a cloak wrapped around you on this horse, just moving fast as you possibly can. Uh... The complication from that is going to be, I mean, there's so many complications already. Uh, Yeah, I think. uh, I mean, I'm not going to keep you from getting there. You're going to make it to the boat. We're going to see about this killing yourself business. Um, Come come on, seppuku, man. It's It's not just killing myself. It's for honor. You still have some. Oh, okay. You make it there, Gorlin. Mm. But not entirely unseen. Nobody in the town notices you. Nobody's chasing after you. But there were a pair of eyes on you. The whole time. While you were out in the woods. While you were killing the night. Mm, Okay, I like that. As you go riding off, a horse comes out of the bush behind you, and it's bombing her rifle over her shoulder. She looks down at the dead knight, um, and as you're riding hard ass through the streets, right, um, she's trotting behind you, and she sees where you get to, uh, and all the while, as you guys are in that boathouse, she's just leaning up against a building, watching the, the boathouse. And when you sail away, eventually, she'll be watching you sail away. Bombing's okay. on your tail. Oh. I hate her so much. <laughs> <laughs> See, I sold my hireling. Yeah, okay, mine ran away. <laughs> I don't know, Bombing's pretty smooth. <laughs> and she was until she killed the children, man. Okay. I didn't say she was a good person. Yeah. Yeah, you're right on. Um, Well, so, Gorlin, you you ride your horse hard uh, through the town, and you make it to... uh, I think you you had a detail, right? It's on the dock, and Mm. it's it's got the brass roof, right? You had that detail of the unique quality of the building, right? Um... Mm. And so, you maybe don't find it as quickly as Heracles and Chuck did, like, right away. But eventually you do spot a building with a strange bronze roof. And you're like, okay, that's me. Um, and you go riding that way. Do you just, like, burst into the door? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I just kick it through and <laughs> and I look for, like, familiar faces. I think, I think he's in a bad shape. Oh, yeah. Piece. Yeah, you're, you're about to pass out, right? Uh, and you're all getting ready, and they're like, okay, let's get the sails ready. Okay, and it's like... Whew. Um, and Denzeli's back on the deck. He's had a time to, like, get himself into some fresh clothes and get himself refreshed. Um, and he's got a little uh, gla- glass of, I don't know, uh, some kind of drink... Um, uh, probably a, a Madeira or something. They've got like <laughs> casks of Madeira beneath. beneath. Um, it's fortified wine, man. It lasts a long time. Uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah, he's got it. You know, he's holding the glass the fancy way, you know, and he's drinking it. And he's like, well, I didn't think that, uh, I didn't think we were going to get out of this <laughs> without a scrape. I think we're going to make it. <laughs> got Harry there for a bit. <laughs> and <then> the, <laughs> Uh, uh, you hear something and then the door bang and Gorlin comes running through and he's Jesus and he just goes running uh, into the back area Um, yeah so Gorlin you come bashing in through the door 
Uh, he's wearing a cloak that had clung to his body for all of the wounds and the blood. He's still just openly bleeding in several places. Um, and his eyes are really glassy. And he probably looks both insane. I think maybe, maybe you think first Chuck is like, did he breathe too much of that gas? <laughs> um, but uh, Gorlin, what do you do right away as you come breaking into the door and Densley like exclaims and runs away? Mm, I s- say something like, "Boys, I have bad news. I have bad news." Oh, that's real is good. It- that's what we need is more bad news. Yes, I think. Uh, as I tortured that night, he told me I'm not a a, a color dancer anymore. Bad news. Travel fast. Then he walks over to Heracles and puts a ha- heavy hand in his shoulder and say, I don't think we are part of the same people anymore. I mean, he, he says that in a very gloomy way. Um. Uh, yeah. And I think he starts preparing for the ritual. He takes out, like, the cloak, and he extends, like, in the floor. And... Here he... Yeah, and then he... He, put, he, he, like, go through his stuff. Says, I need a sword. Then he put yeah. one of the swords that they stole together. And he said, Chuck, I'm going to need your help. He kneels down in the middle of the cloth. And, like, and he wants as many eyes as he can around him. Yeah. Oh, let me, then, let, like, me, let me interrupt just a second. Yeah. As he's doing all this, Heracles, you hear a voice. Um, in your ear. And you don't see anybody, and uh, but you hear a voice and it says, um, "Sad chap, eh? You mean Gorlin? Hmm. Broken, lost, forgotten." Must I was be- just waiting for. I was just waiting for him to bow his head. <laughs> yeah, he says some. Um, that's my boy. Um, sure, you're in charge. Maybe offer to be a second. No reason you can't be civilized. Um, yeah, so go ahead, Corlin. You're like, Chuck, I need you to be my second. Yeah, he said, Chuck, once I open up my belly and I shout, I'm innocent, I need you to chop my head off. Wait, so shit, like... oh, that's what's happening. Okay, I was really confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, like he's like on his knees, in his right hand, he's holding a dagger. Like, both of his hands are like, lifted up to the sky. And he look around, like, he says say some stuff in Sasani. They say, uh, I... Uh, Sessa did, did not take out my title yet. I'm gonna die as a master. And I hope my people don't die in the fucking desert. Then, and then, uh, Heracles, please tell Sessa that the Noles still deserve a chance. Don't let them be forgotten. And then, like, he starts putting, like, slowly the knife in him because, like, his muscles are a bit hard. He, he never stabbed himself before. This <laughs> is a bit clumsy. And he started like, when he's halfway through, like, he's like, oh, fuck, it fucking hurts. As soon as he starts taking too much time, Heracles, like, steps in front of you, Chuck. And he pulls out this dog tooth spear. And he gets it just in a quick motion. Pops Gorlin straight through the goddamn heart. Yep. And. Okay. And you die, Gorlin. Ah. However. Oh. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you die by the hand of the dog tooth spear. What's that do? D6 
Do you how much hold do you have right now? Three. Oh, it should be three. Yeah. Um. Well. Well, the the roll is just for like how much damage you deal. Oh, you need the twelve plus. Okay. Um. You know, you've got hold. He's not really resisting you in any way. Yeah. Unless you okay, I'll, I'll I'll put this on the table for you, Gorlin. Yeah. When you die at the hand of the god of the god of the dog tooth spear, he can spend two hold, and if he kills you, yeah. he makes a deal, as if he's death. And if you accept it, you return to life. Um. If not, you are instantly slain by the spear. Um, mm. So, <laughs> you're a barbarian, so you're supposed to get to offer death a deal. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I get plus one to. Yeah, so the so you, so he gets to make a deal with Heracles. Yeah. So so you don't even have to roll last breath. <laughs> but Gorlin, he stands in the way and you're like trying to cut and like you look up and you see Heracles all of a sudden instead of Chuck and he just like jams this death spear into your chest. Um, and it probably mumbles, I haven't finished. <laughs> uh, and you're, you're sitting there and like the world like drifts away and you're still kneeling. There's this hole and gaping wound in your heart. Um, blood trickling out. Um, but you didn't collapse, and you don't feel any more pain. I think your, your hands sort of go numb, and you drop the knife out of your stomach. And Heracles is now the only thing standing there, and you're sort of in a utter darkness. But he's holding the spear right back at the ready, dripping with your blood. And behind him, you do see a figure. Just at the edge of the darkness. An elf. But he looks strange. He looks old. I don't know how many elves you've come across, but generally you don't see lots of, like, elderly elves. They have to live a long, long time. And he's got a beard, which is definitely not the typical thing for an elf. Some of his features almost... Remind you of a, of a dwarf or something. But he's still tall, right? Um, it's all very weird. He's just at the edge of your vision. But you can tell you're being given a chance. You're broken and you're lost. But you have the upper hand here. You're still master of Gorlin's soul. No one can take that from you, right? Mm. Do you offer can... a deal to Heracles? Mm, I probably, but because of a very weird situation, I probably t uh, tell the Heracles of the ghostly image something like, I have failed as a master. I am master of nothing but shaping metal. That's not really a deal, I know, but he's lost. So him offering a deal is a bit <laughs> weird. Well, they... Okay, I'll give you something. Um, well, okay. Heracles... You don't get to offer him a deal, right? Um, he... So... I don't know. I don't want to put too many stipulations on it. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll let Heracles offer you a deal. And... I mean, you can accept that deal and say, okay, that's the deal I'll make. Um, or you can come up with your own and see if Heracles... Right? You can counter-offer. <laughs> 
right? Um, <laughs> which is perfect. This is perfect Dax Corvine, right? And it's like, everything is negotiable. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. So let's hear something, Caracles. Mm. Yeah, in exchange for your life. Yeah. You must sever all ties with Sasani and pledge your absolute allegiance to the Black Skull. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Black Skull tax Corvi. Uh, he, he he looks down to like his hand holding the knife and he says that I I don't want to forget Sasani Sasan Sesta uh, the the city of Colos is the most beautiful place in the world I can't live without it that's the issue now I can bring uh, yes yes T tell me more about this black skull does he live in a beautiful place he's everywhere he's here he has a temple up in Scythera, Obsidian Tower. Mm. He is death. He is eternal. He is the divine. Mm. Okay. Okay, so I need to make a contra deal. Okay. If I promise to spread the word of the Lord of Death, can I go back to Sessa and live in a beautiful place until I die again? I don't know how you'd be able to go back there. You, you can you can't go back to Sasan. It mm. must be the first place that you spread the will of the Black Skull to. So, so I should spread the, the Black Skull to Sasan first, or not go there? Well, it's, oh, first, it's both, right? You can go back there, but you have to bring word of the Black Skull. That's a deal. Everything for Sesame. Okay. Um, and you collapse, Corlin. As if dead. But Heracles, you know he's not actually dead. Um, Dinsley just yells like, Okay, clean that shit up and let's go! Um, and he puts the crew to doing things. He leaves the, you guys to your deal. Um, and uh, I think we're going to hold it up right there. That's a good stopping place. Yeah. We'll see what you... Gorlin will be dead for some time as he is being remade, reborn. Gorlin, your yeah. wounds are going to heal. Your hair, your fur is going to grow back. But probably different, right? Mm. Uh, a different color, probably different patterns. Um, oh, that's, that's cool. And it'll take some time, a few days. Um, but we're going to stop there. Um, let's do our end of session. Did anybody complete their alignment? 
Yes. A few times. Yes, yeah. In, That's inflict an pain on others. That's an XP. And what about you, Heracles? I feel like I still defended um, densely because I still feel uh, I was still on the fence of whether or not Chuck was actually going to kill him. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure what Mason was actually going to do. <laughs> and did anybody uh, resolve a bond? Yes, I gave a gift to Chuck, but he threw it away, so I don't think it counts. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't. Doesn't matter if you actually did what's literally written in the bond. It matters if it changed. Um, does it change? Do you? Are you angry at his the gift he threw away? Yes, but there's more important things. Okay, that's a better reason. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna change it. So, Chuck's my best friend. I shall show him the goodness of the Black Skull. <laughs> well, we have some short ways to do that. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Heracles? Did you resolve a bond? Uh, I did not resolve anyone, any, but I do want to write one with Coraline. Okay. Yeah. Um, and did we overcome a notable monster or enemy? Um, as that, Well, that that entire troop of knights and crazy Phil weirdos that you guys fought. Yeah, Philmoth the Arcton. That's definitely a notable enemy. That guy was a. You didn't have He's yeah. been screwing with you the whole time. He did have a lot of HP <laughs> and armor. Oh my god, he was a monster. Did we learn something? Children. Yeah, he had four armor and like 12 HP. He was a tough dude. Huh. Um, did we uh, overcome... No, I'm sorry. Did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes. Something very bad. Ma Masu did have a deal with um, yeah, den densely, and it was enough to him to feel that it was a to get assassins put off. Yeah, something going on there. Yeah, definitely some conspiracies boiling. Um, and did we loot two hundred and fifty coins or a priceless artifact? How much is a Gorlon? <laughs> <laughs> uh... In the state you found him worthless. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I have a magic, I have a magic item. So <laughs> um, yeah, I don't guess we got any money or artifacts this time. Um, what about the ship? Well, you don't have that. You don't own that. Okay. Let me just write this note for Mason. Hold on a second. How much is in my bounty? How much are they paying for my head? I have no idea. Come on, it should count for something. <laughs> it's more than 250 coins, certainly. Well, I didn't turn you in. <laughs> I know, but like, we looted, and then that's the, the value of it. You know? how, much, how much we wanted. Nope. Maybe a different, different kind of session. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, that's it. That was end of session. Uh, I mean, Mason had to go, but he can deal with alignments and bonds. Um, okay, no. so starting I want to know about this. Yeah, starting so, session five, going. we're going to be headed to the swamps, where things will get much easier. I mean, you know, swamps and warm monsters. It'll feel like we're just going to walk through the. Yeah, it's home. It's like home. Yeah, piece of cake. All right, y'all. Well, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for playing, guys. Thank you. Uh, See ya. Next week. See ya.